Hello, hello everybody. How are you? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening from wherever you're watching. If you can hear me, I want you to please type I can hear you in the comment section. I just want to be sure I am not talking to myself. But anyway, we are used to talking to ourselves. Yes, I have a very great guy today on set. So if you can hear me, please type, I can hear you in the comment section. Yes. So while we're doing that, I want you to like and share this video, like and share this broadcast, because you might just be saving the life of that one person who has been waiting for a lifetime to hear this message. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to like and share the video, the broadcast. So while you're doing that, Seed, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you, John. Coming through loud and clear. Great, 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 great. So welcome to another episode of the Morale Booster with John Ugulu. It's another beautiful day. It's a bright. I thank God for the gift of life. You know, so many people went to bed last night having plans for today. But unfortunately, they couldn't see daylight. But we're here today listening to this program because we have the gift of life. So gratitude is paramount. Like and share the video, please. So without wasting much of your time, I have another very powerful and interesting guest all the way from Maryland. Maryland. His name is Sid Olsley. And Sid lives in Burtonsville, Maryland. He's a former US Marine and a former deputy sheriff. He holds a bachelor's degree in Homeland Security and Emergency Management. He's also a certified Les Brown Power Voice speaker, as well as being one of the featured speakers in the Les Brown Power Voice Summit. Mr. Osley has several certifications in digital marketing and he owns a digital digital marketing agency called Kudu Juice Digital Marketing Agency. Mr. Osley believes in being at the forefront of trends and technology. So he's also a certified blockchain professional, helping companies learn about the benefits of implementing blockchain technology. Sid is also the host of Determination Determines Destination podcast and has been a guest on several podcasts. Sid enjoys traveling, reading, working out, and sharing a good meal with friends. He can be contacted at sidosley.com and all social media platforms. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please join me as I welcome to this virtual stage no other person but Sid Osley. Sid, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Hey, John, thank you for inviting me, man. It's great being on your podcast. And I, I really have to thank you for your support, you know, being on your podcast. It was just on your event last week, you know, uh, the Main Seed event, speaking virtually, and also for the event, the Main Seed Mastermind event that you held in Alpharetta, Georgia in November was an awesome event. And so I thank you yes. for your support. In, in helping me uh, develop my speaking. And it's, it's, it's a pleasure being on here with you. Once again, we're, we're together sharing a stage, friend, virtual or live together. That's great, thank you so much. You know, and thank you for your service. You know, I always say it is people like you that has made it possible for someone like me who came into this country as an immigrant 
to have the opportunity to shine my light. Thank you for your service. You know, we, we really appreciate you. And well, thank you for all you're doing. I see you are, you know, you are impacting lives with your podcast. You are, you're helping people move from where they are to where they want to be. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Seed. So let's um, go straight to the, the, the first uh, question I have for you today. Cool. So what, what, what made you choose entrepreneurship? Well, you know, entrepreneurship is something that I had always been interested in. I started investing in, in real estate when I was around uh, 25. I bought my first property. And the interest had been there even before that. I, I remember reading a book when I was, I think I was about 20 years old, called Nothing Down by Robert Allen. And uh, I bought, bought my first house for myself when I was 23. Wow. Like I said, I, bought a, uh, I had a small apartment building when I was 25 years old. And so, you know. An apartment was, building. Yeah, it was, a, it was a small, small. it's a four unit building when I wow. was uh, 25 and have had you know various other businesses and you know the reason that entrepreneurship interested me is is that you, you know you 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 look at you know the things that uh the big buildings and the stores and businesses that 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 people have and you want to you know you know how do they do that and yeah. and it, it just always fascinated me and it's it's a it's a personal challenge it's a you know uh it's a challenge in doing this that is is in my mind equivalent to even being an athlete because you have to you have to train for this you have to be willing right. to develop yourself you have to transform yourself from who you are into someone else or more of who you are some people are natural entrepreneurs and so right. they you know they they latch on to this thing you know fast they can look at something naturally and know it's a deal you know i'm i'm i struggle with this a little bit more you know so i so i, so I, I work harder at it but nonetheless right. it, it's a challenge that uh that challenge is always there you know right. no matter how many deals you do the the next deal or the next business it, that challenge is always there for life and so entrepreneurship is something that is is really a personal development journey that you're on for your entire life. So that that's why it interested me, you know, the, right. the challenge of it. Right. That that's a good one, you know, because you started early, and um, you know, I I work with young adults and children between the ages of eight to twenty two, and knowing what you know now, Sid with your experience, what would you advise that young man who, or young woman who has an interest for entrepreneurship, but do not currently have the financial capabilities of starting out? What would be your advice for that person, that 16, 17, 18 years old person? You know, my, my biggest advice would be to get started with what you have and and getting started really means learning right the personal development side and the learning of what an entrepreneur is dealing with businesses dealing with uh dealing a lot with your own uh your own limitations your own strengths and weaknesses you know working on those so that when you come into situations you'll have a better understanding of how you will respond or react to those situations right you know, that has a lot to do with uh your your success and failure in an entrepreneurship or, or really anything else and you know also the great thing about where we're at now in this period of time is the technology yes now a young person I mean, you can t if, if a if a if a ten year old has any type of interest in business or investing or anything, they can get right on YouTube and start learning this at a very very early age. So right. that you know, if they're 10, 11, you know, if they're a teenager, by the time they get into their early twenties, their mid twenties, 
they can actually be a subject matter expert on certain things just because the technology allows them to have access to, to knowledge uh, so much faster, so much broader than when I first started. Right, right, right. That makes a whole lot of sense. So basically, your advice for the young you, the 16 years old C, yeah. is right now, right now, we have, <clears throat> yeah, we have access to the internet. So whatever business you want to get involved in, they should start networking on the internet first in that particular area, even if they currently do not have the money, right? Yeah, is the money right? Now, you know, when you first start out, it's better for you not to have the money, right? You know, if you don't actually know anything, having the money can be dangerous because you'll you'll blow it all uh, in the learning part. You know, there's you know, <laughs> which, which happened to me a lot. You know, a lot of a lot of people before you know the you know we had the access to the technology, which gave us access to so much knowledge. You really yeah. had to put some skin in the game and and get skinned. You would, you know, yes. you go out here and put some money on a property, and you don't know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, you go, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna get the, you gonna get the scars. You know, yeah. some of that is necessary, regardless. You know, you can never totally avoid the uh, mistakes. But now, like I said, uh, someone very, very young can start out to learn how to invest in the stock market, invest right. in options or invest in, in property, whatever else they want to do. And, you know, they can get a lot of knowledge and network with a lot of people on a scale that I didn't have access to when I, when I was young. So yes. uh, yeah, just get started where you're at now, get started with learning the, you know, the, the particular subject that you are interested in, the internet, you know, gives you access, all the access you need. And uh, when you, once you're ready to actually go into action, you can have, you will have already gathered the network that can help you avoid some of the more common pitfalls. Yeah, that, 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 that's right. I, I, <clears throat> I completely agree with you. You know, if you're listening to this program right now, please like and share the broadcast because there's somebody out there who has been waiting for a lifetime to hear this message. Now, this message resonates with a lot of parents who have kids who are interested in entrepreneurship but currently do not have the financial uh, ability to get started. So what seed is generally encouraging is now that the money is not available, go about networking, go about soaking yourself in that idea because every great invention today was once an idea. Am I right, um, Sid? Yeah, it, it starts in your head first. Yes. Everything starts in your head. Everything starts with your imagination. And, you know, as I said, you know, with, with the technology that we have now, you actually don't need a lot of money to start and develop an idea. You know, you know, between the computer, your smartphone and having Internet access, you, 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 you put together a website, do some videos on 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 what you're uh, what you're an expert at or what you're learning, you know, now. You can get on on the internet, get on YouTube or different social media, you know, uh, other social media platforms, and show people your journey of learning something. And you're right, an audience, and share your journey with people about what you're learning, and and you'll you'll develop a following and a network that will help you succeed, and you'll help other people succeed. That's true. Thank you so much. I like that. You know, one of the major reasons why I chose to bring up this topic is because I know you 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 have been in law enforcement for uh, uh, a while, right? And you know that typically the earlier we start building leaders from 
when they are young, mm -hmm. the better it will be for our communities, the safer our communities would be. That's why I, I love to work with them. This is the time for us to teach them that they do not need all the money in the world to get started. So you just mentioned something about a journey. Can you please explain to those kids out there, letting them know that they don't have to be perfect to get started because people are interested in their journey, the yeah. early beginnings where things were not okay, where, where yeah. things were, you know. Can you please explain to that mother who's watching now so she can tell her children or also explain to that young adult who's already watching, let them know the importance of the journey and how people are willing to follow through with that. Yeah, Pe people want to see, they want to be able to relate to the successful people, right? A lot of times when we see people that have achieved the success, you know, we're, they're at their success point and we don't know the journey that they've gone through. We don't know the pitfalls, the setbacks, the delays, the disappointments that they've dealt with. When you can actually show them that, as you're going through your journey to to you know whatever destination you have they can relate to it more and they yeah. can that gives them the hope and the fuel to keep going two of the people that really have helped me and continue to help me is uh les brown you know our, our mentor in speaking from power voice les brown talks about his failures all the time and he talks about them in such a way he, he, he talks about the failures that leads to the success. He just doesn't leave you in the failure. He tells you about what he has gone through and to help him that allowed him to get to where he's at now. And right. when people can see that, hey, this guy slept in his office. You know, <laughs> he slept in his office. He, he slept in a trash can, you know, and he and he he made it, you know, uh, uh, Eric Thomas, you know, talks about how he he ate out of trash cans. You know, uh, the, the other person that 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 really uh, I relate to is Robert Kiyosaki that wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Poor Dad, yeah. Robert Kiyosaki talks about how. In the 70s, him and his business partners invented the uh a lot of people probably won't remember this there when when the when the jogging craze first started in the 70s uh his his him and his business partners invented a small velcro wallet to put your keys and your change in that would attach uh, to your running shoes yeah, yeah and they invented that but they didn't spend the money on getting a patent attorney and so someone else came along, several other people came along and copied what they made and their business failed. They, they you know, uh, over a million dollars, they went in right. debt. So he had to come back from that. You know, uh, you know, you uh, uh, property deals, bad business partners, things that he did wrong himself. You know, uh, all of those things are going to happen. And being people being able to see that you can come back from those things and, and, and succeed is what really helps other people understand, hey, I can do this even, this even though I failed, I can still succeed. Right, right. That's great. I love that. So if you're listening to the program, it's um, Seed Osley. Please remember to like and share. And if you're watching on a replay, we will definitely get back to you and answer your questions or respond to your comments. So, um, see, thank you for those nuggets. Those are powerful nuggets. Now, um, the world has actually changed right now. The trajectory has changed. Yeah. The pandemic, the COVID-19 has caused a lot of challenges in the world today. Yeah. I know you are not a therapist, right? So what's your advice for those people who have been impacted one way or the other by the pandemic? 
those who have lost their jobs and um, those who are no longer in business, whose businesses have uh, folded up. What's your advice for them? Well, well, firstly, you know, as you said, the, the world has definitely changed because of this COVID pandemic. And for the people that, you know, all of us are dealing with a certain level of stress. And for those people who are really, really having a hard time dealing with this physically and mentally, please seek some type of professional help. You know, you don't have to deal with the stress and the strain alone. And there's no shame in admitting that you're you're having a hard time. Right. You know, uh, go seek the help. The help is there. Uh, you know, and, and you can contact me, John, yes. anybody. And, and if, you know, I can, I can direct you towards someone I will, because a lot of people are going through things that they, that they just never thought would happen. You know, who would have ever thought that basically the entire world shut down? You know, we could have never imagined something like that at all. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, you know, businesses, a lot of businesses have closed. Kids have been cooped up in the house. They haven't been able to go to school. You know, some of them are a little happy about that. But, you know, being cooped up in the house, uh, you know, that has its own level of stress on the kids and, and the parents. And the parents. <laughs> and it, most especially the parents, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, we're dealing with things we've never, ever dealt with before. And so, yeah, you know, go, go you know, seek the help. There's, like I said, there's no shame in, in getting some help to deal with this situation. Right. You know? And also, you know, on the economic front, yeah, this is the time where uh, we are seeing that the systems that we've trusted in, that we've, you know, been taught to trust in, uh, maybe aren't as strong as we thought. Yes. You know, um, and, and this is going to continue to change. And so all of us are going through a period of transition, you know, uh, career transition business transitions you know a lot of businesses have had to uh you know if you're in the food business if you had a place that people had to actually come and sit down you know you more likely had to change into some type of delivery mode you know um and 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 even when you're open uh there's a modified opening you know you're, you're not back at, at full strength uh School has changed. School is is all online now. Yes. And so the teachers and the parents and the kids are getting used to, you know, a teacher is looking at a screen with 30 kids and these 30 kids have their cell phone tucked down in their lap so that the teacher can <laughs> see it. And each other. And, you know, nobody's paying attention to the teacher. And, right. and you know. And, and the, the, the parents, you know, they're at home working, too, and, and all this other stuff. And so, you know, we're all going through a, a very serious period of change and transformation and transition. And so, you know, use this time to look at ways to, uh, to transform yourself. We're all going to have to transform ourselves into as far as what we do, how, how we make a living, you know, right. And how we're interacting with each other, you know, uh, you know, you're having virtual happy hours and virtual baby showers and virtual graduations, you know, uh, so seek out knowledge that will help with this transformation as much as possible and you know, this is also the time when there may be some things that you've wanted to do in life that you didn't have a chance to do because you were working a lot and maybe now you're off work or and or you have reduced work hours. And now is a good time to you know take a look at those things and see if you can create a business out of them. You know, if you can create 
something that will help yourself and help other people. When you can help other people through this situation, you know, it, it can be great for you and for them, you know. Right. Uh, that's basically what I've, I've been doing. I had always thought about doing some type of speaking, things like that. And it, you know, during this pandemic, I, I started, you know, because I was in the Les Brown group, you know, and that opportunity came about because my work hours were, were reduced. This opportunity came up. I took it. Right. And I've been speaking on some things that I know I've dealt with and I know other people deal with in the area of mindset. Yes. And, you know, my my own little personal motto has been determination determines destination. The three D's to success. Right. You know, and, and I came about that because. You know, I, I don't consider myself to be. Has to have any huge natural talent, but I'll I'll work for what I want. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll put in the time to learn what I need to learn to become successful at it, and have that determination just to keep going. And you know, I've dealt with and still deal with the setbacks, delays, challenges, things like that. And you just have to have the mindset of being determined that you're going to determine your destination in life. And so I, I share that with other people. That's a great one. That's a great thing you're doing. Because right now, a lot of people, everybody needs mindset development. Everybody needs a form of push, a, a form of consolation to help them transition to a better place. And thank you so much for all you do. And I love that word, determination determines destination, right? Yes. Determination determines destination. That's great. So it's a, it's a, it's a principle that if one can follow, will definitely help them, will guide them. So thank you so much. Now, let's talk about your blockchain part, the blockchain part of you. Mm. So what, what precisely, how can, how can you help people get into that sector. So just throw more light on what that blockchain means and how it can help people generate some income on the side. Well, blockchain is a technology is 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 called it's a distributed ledger. It's a way of verifying verifying transactions so that two or more parties can agree on terms, you put those terms on a document or some other form of, of, of media, you put it in a blockchain. Blockchain is a technology that once you put this information in a blockchain, it cannot be changed unless you create it that way so it'll be changed. But you can create it so that it cannot be changed and two or more parties can agree on these terms, verify the transaction and, and have a permanent record of it. And so what this does is it, it, helps, it helps speed things along because you don't have as many middlemen, middle people in, in the transaction that can change things, that can defraud things. Right. Uh, this, works, this works great in in uh, supply chain, where you know uh, a verification of parts or goods can be can be done uh, very quickly, you know, without having a lot of uh, middlemen in in there, you know, possibly changing things. Okay. So this okay. technology uh, really helps helps in business. To, to be able to speed up uh, business transactions. Okay, that's great. Thank you. I know I've, I've, I've been hearing about blockchain, blockchain. So it, it, it has to do with digital um, currency, right? Uh, that's one part of it. Yeah, digital currency. Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah. See, see, blockchain and cryptocurrency 
are two different things, but they're related because you can put the cryptocurrency on the blockchain. Okay. 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 Or, you know, for instance, you can you can uh, do say a real estate deal, and uh, uh, you know how you use a title company to verify that is there. Right. A right. Well, you oh, can put that title. It. You can put that title on the blockchain. Great. Great. Instantly, you and you know you know the paperwork when you buy a piece of property. How long this stuff takes? Yes. You know? <laughs> I mean, they need this piece of paper and that piece of paper, and then you give them the piece of paper, and then they and and two weeks later they ask you for the same piece of paper that you gave them, and and you know all this stuff by right. using blockchain you can speed this up. Okay. And also the actual financial transaction, if you you know when we get to the point because it will happen when we get to the point where we we will use digital currency to buy things on a regular basis, you can put, let's say Bitcoin, you buy buy a house with Bitcoin, you put that Bitcoin on the blockchain and it will instantly go to the, the, uh, the seller. Okay. And the seller can verify this by looking at it. And so it, again, it cuts out the intermediaries. Right. You know, some of the main intermediaries are trying to stay in because they're going to lose a lot of money you know, <laughs> uh, you know, when this thing comes about. But right. uh, it makes things much easier, much faster and more secure. And so what I do, I help companies to understand that this technology can benefit them and and help them see that, see the value of it. You know, right, right. now of hard because uh it's, it hasn't been mass adopted yet even though that's coming right. you can see like with the cryptocurrency you, you can see that companies like visa and paypal and cash app you know they're they you you, you can do uh uh bitcoin transactions right on some platforms and so the adoption of cryptocurrency and blockchain Within the next five to ten years, is is it's going to be mass adopted. It's going to be massive. It's going to really blow up. So yeah. yeah, that's that's a good one to know. And I'm glad you talked about this. There's so many people out there who are also ignorant about these things. You know, they say knowledge is power. So for those of you who are currently listening to this program, who have an interest in discovering or finding out what the blockchain is and how you can benefit from that technology you can always reach out to see am i right can they reach out to you yeah for okay yep. you can contact me great that's awesome so steve thank you so much um how can people find you well on social media just put my name in sid owsley i'm easy to find facebook you know like i say any social media platform you can also go to my website, sitowsley.com. And on the website, you can pick up a free gift about aligning your goals with your values. And uh, I'll be able to keep in contact with you more that way. Also, you know, I got to plug my podcast, John. The three right. success, determination, determines destination. You can check out my podcast on Spotify as well as a YouTube channel, The Three D C Success, where, uh, you know, I, I interview people about their their journey as as we talked right. about earlier their journey of dealing with overcoming obstacles and challenges and arriving at a certain point of success in their life because i think that's very important for people right. to hear those stories and be able to relate yes yes that's great so seed Osley can you know if you want some mindset coaching if you want somebody who can speak about mindset at any of your events in your religious organization you know you can always reach out to Sid Osley his website is currently being displayed on the screen he's a good man we, we you know we've known ourselves for a while and he, he's a great speaker he's a great motivational speaker he was yeah. mentored and coached by one of the world's greatest motivational speaker Mr. Les Brown and if you need that help, that person who you can talk to whenever you're going through 
that mental challenge. I'm not saying he's a therapist, but he can refer you to somebody. He can point you at the right direction. All right? So this is the time for everybody, not just to sit down and start complaining about the pandemic, but instead, this is the time for us to look for a solution, look for a way to add value to our communities, to our families, to everybody that we come across because we were created to impact people. All right? So Sid, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. My apologies for the mix up in the time. You know, I'm currently in Dallas for a funeral. You know, I, it just didn't occur to me that the time is a different time zone from where I was. But I'm glad you made it happen. That's what matters. And I want you to enjoy the rest of your day. Same to you, John. And uh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for having me on. And like I said, thank you for your continued support. And I, you know, I look forward to any other events that you have that I can attend because. Oh, I yeah, sure, you. sure. Yeah, you, you always yeah. Uh, put things together great. And I encourage anybody that that uh, that has the opportunity to attend any of John's events or need a speaker themselves. John is great. He, he, he has a great organizational skill. He has a wonderful family. Those, those three boys you have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Man, I, I, when I see them and I see their father, man, you, you're doing a great job. And, thank you. Uh, thank you. My, my, my wife does most of the job. She, she, she's the neck of the house, yeah. you know. She you, holds you, the head. You won't, <laughs> you won't get yourself in trouble saying that. <laughs> right. Yeah, thank you so much. So, um, Pratiba, hey, Pratiba, how are you? Pratiba said, go, hey, go, Pratiba. go. How you doing, Pratiba? Thank you for watching. I see Victor. Hi, Victor. He says, right on. Yeah, Ife. Yeah, Victor, Ife. good to see you. I see Ife. Sorry? I see Ify McCoy. Yeah, Ify, yeah. I see Shante. Shante. Yeah, Shante Chandler. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Shante. How are you? Yeah, then I see Ify McCoy, the unscripted man. How Jeff you Ray doing, my brother? Beautiful maintenance. I like that, Ify. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Seed. So uh, what are your last words before we go for those people who are struggling and want to get into entrepreneurship. Last one minute line. Well, my, my, my wrap up is to just stay with it. You, you're gonna have the delays, setbacks and challenges, right? Right now I'm actually working on creating a course for, for mindset to help people uh, you know, more to develop that mindset to keep going and show them what it takes to to achieve a certain level of success in their life. Well, I'm working on the modules. I, I have I have a team that's helping me, and we're experiencing delays. The work that I wanted done should have been done about two weeks ago, right? But we're experiencing delays because there's something wrong with the particular platform I'm using. So we had to switch to another platform. You know? Okay. There's, you know, there's a certain level of frustration. There's right. a certain level of disappointment, right. but you can't give in to those things. You have to keep going. You have to realize, okay, this is what happens. This is the deal. Stay focused. Don't let the frustration uh, allow you to make decisions that that are going to cause you to uh, to have anything other than success. You know, just stay focused. Be patient. Things will work out. And that's what I tell people. You're going to have the setbacks. It's right. part of the deal. It's part of the deal. When Once you sign on to do something outside of what you normally do, you've just signed the deal to have frustration, setbacks, and challenges. That's it's true. It's part of the deal. Go through with it. It'll You'll come through on the other side. That's true. Thank you. Thank you so much for that advice. Guys, Please like and share this broadcast. Someone out there has been waiting for a lifetime to hear this message. Yes, yes. Ify McCoy, that's the, the owner of the Unscripted Voices. 
you're doing another great job, my my friend. If you keep it up, thank you for watching. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he said you guys rock. Thank, thank you. you. So thank you so much, Seed, and I really do appreciate your time. Let me allow you go back to your family and your business so you can take care of things. So until same time next week, have a great day, everybody. And remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Take care. God bless you all. Have a great day.